Okay, mission accomplished. This is gonna be the year of getting the house really shining, property shining, life shining. <laughs> so today, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I'm trying to not be too close. Yeah, it's so funny because I make videos and no matter what I do, somebody don't like something. Well, most 99% of you love everything and I appreciate you. But you know, somebody who doesn't wanna see corn beads, they wanna see chickens or they don't want to see my face. They want to see my tomatoes. But y'all are so funny. But the story, the moral of the story here is it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. The main thing that you need to do is to know it's going to change. This is the year of change for us. And I've, I've known this for a while. Oldest boy's in college, nursing school now. So, you know, he's really doing his thing there. Uh, my older boys are shifting into high school or shifting close to college. So we're spending a lot of time on family. So you have to say, what are the things that I enjoy the most? What are the things that have benefited me the most on my farm? You know, am I gonna milk this year? Folks, I wanna tell you uh, to, that I love you being here. We're going on 100,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you. But this channel is about my journey. This channel is not about just chickens. It's not just about Cherokee heritage and culture. It's not just about me having a rant once every 20 videos. I haven't done one in a while. We need to have a rant video. I have a lot to say about stuff today, <laughs> but I'll be nice. But the point is, is things change. And when you come to our channel, our channel may not be what you saw three years ago or five years ago or last week. I film what I'm doing. I film Patera and her family. You know, just being on YouTube, even if you have a small channel, I know a lot of you small channels out there have already experienced the glory of a few trolls, a few copycats, a few this, a few that. Don't worry about that junk. That's cheap advice because I'm not always the best at taking it. But it's true. Don't give them your time. You know, throw them away like a diaper. But my channel is not about me creating a life or me creating farm life or me showing you how to make something that I've never made before. If I haven't made it, I'm going to tell you just so I can make a video today. Now, I wouldn't say that other people are doing those things. And even if they were, it's not my business. I was taught to mind my business, but I'm saying that when you come here, so if you're like, I wish you'd do more farm videos. Well, the fact of the matter is folks, I'm farming every day. But the fact of the matter is, is it just may not be convenient to film that day. You know, I might have to give an algebra test, a biochemistry test. Uh, I might have to run a kid to piano or, you know, maybe I just don't feel like it. You know, I am a mid I am a woman going through a midlife crisis, maybe. <laughs> no, but do you see what I'm saying? So as we have come back into the realm of making videos, you've been with us through the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. <gasps> Through the years you've been through this with the changes on our farm you've been through this with even james when he was really sick and now he's better and thank you for all your supportive comments and, and love on that but when you come here this is about our journey back to our roots our theme our banner our motto is homesteading yes but it's a journey back to our roots that is going to involve chickens and goats and farming and a lot of sweat and hard work. It's going to involve also time with my Nana, time homeschooling with my kids, making biscuits because we make biscuits a lot. Love them. You know, we go to North Carolina. I do a lot of genealogy, have been considering becoming a professional genealogist, been asked by multiple people. So the journey changes. Who you are today is not going to be who you are in 10 years. And I think that it's nice to see natural and pure and real authentic evolution in somebody especially if they're doing what they really desire to do and they really do what they want to and are becoming who they want to be. Maybe they're becoming who they 
were not permitted to be before. Maybe it's an age thing. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's the fact that I'm, look at all this junk I'm cleaning. That is not exciting, but it's what we do. So are you, you know, are you necessarily going to see the, the bedazzler of things flying around and whizzing around and techno music and all this? Maybe, maybe not. But what you are guaranteed is an authentic experience. So let me answer some of your questions. No, Belle is not bred. She's down there fat as a cow, staring to hope to get some more things. We decided to not breed her again. It's just the way it is. Uh, you know, like I said, um, when you breed her, you're getting into a major commitment of milking her. And, my, and I was going to in August, last month, I was gonna take her down to the farm, was offered. And my husband said, I wanna wait. I wanna wait one more time. You got a lot of goats. The milking with the goats has gone really well. I don't want that pressure on you. I don't want that pressure on us right now. We need to focus on making sure that Nicholas gets a really good start in nursing school. Nicholas gets a really good start in everything. And the other boys are getting a lot of attention right now. I am a homeschool mom. What else? What else? Somebody asked me if I was single. I'm answering your questions because people ask me all the, how many dogs do I have? Am I single? There are days that I consider being single. <laughs> No, I am not single at all. In fact, my aunt, my uh, 22 a wedding, 20, 22 year wedding anniversary comes up in two weeks, so I'm definitely not single. Uh, you know, uh, how many goats do I have? I think I have ten. How many dogs do I have? I think I got eight. How many chickens do I have? I have eight. Um, all these questions. Um, a lot of you are interested in knowing more about Cherokee history and culture and genealogy, so we'll share more about that. But. I just want to thank you for being here. We're doing really well. Um, the update also, the house is about to get pressure washed. That's not exciting. But my house is going to be 150 this year. Can you believe that? So I also want to spend some time, you know, on my house. See, when we moved here, when we moved here, we moved here in, we moved here in July. By early September, we already had chicken coops going I had a garden going. We had, I mean, we were just going full force at Homestead, Homestead, Homestead. You know, we've done some things to the house over the years, you know, new fans and did some paint and a little cleanup. Uh, you know, we had to redo the porch, but I want to focus on my home. You know, it's not going to be extravagant. I'm probably not going to tear off the kitchen yet because I don't have the patience for that. But, you know, I want to focus on that. You need to focus on the things on your farm that make you happy. Because somebody's got a bunch of rabbits on YouTube should not mean you go get a bunch of rabbits. I love my rabbits, but no, I'm not breeding them right now. Did not breed them this year. You know why? Because I, the whole idea of having to butcher them, I, I, I'm going to say this. I despise having to butcher anything. Despise it. In necessity, I can do it. In necessity, I do it. I don't show it here because, first of all, I don't want the flack. Number two, frankly, it's a very personal thing. Um, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think showing that over and over is really that impressive. Uh, it's impressive that people want to be self-sustainable, but you don't have to show me gutting a chicken 12 times to let me know that you know how to do it, you know. So uh, I just don't think that's necessary, and that's not who I am. Uh, and it's just an emotional and personal thing. Oh, bees. I'm done with bees. Uh, I'm done with bees for now. Um, I, I think that pretty much uh, the, the if you're going to be a beekeeper, that's pretty much besides maybe a garden and five chickens, that needs to be your focus. People don't agree with me on that. I don't care. Uh, that's fine. But what I'm telling you is, is when you have three children turning into men, and you're milking goats, and you're homeschooling, and you're trying to run a household, and your husband works. See, here's another thing a lot of people don't understand is, yes, I'm married. I'm not single, but my husband works a full-time job. He's working about 40 to 50 hours a week on average. Sometimes it's up to 80, um, and so, you know, it's like a single woman homestead in some ways. He comes home, and we get on the tractor, and we clean out. He does helps me all the big, big stuff, but the daily run of things, so, you know, you have to think about, ladies, what do I want to do that I can realistically, with sanity, manage? You know, my best friend Angela from Daisy King Farm, we were just talking about this yesterday because uh, she, 
Uh, her husband works. You know, she had a major health setback. Please follow her channel. She's this, y'all, she's a doll baby. But my point is, is we talk about this often about what did granny do? What did granny do? Well, this is all granny did, okay? You know, and you know, the kids sometimes didn't get educated past fourth grade. And those were the times. A lot of times granny was home by herself and papa was off to, you know, I got several grandmothers that were home and papa was off to war from 1862 to 1865. What a life. And, you know, and these moms today that are military wives that are home and, and working and doing and stuff. The focus is doing as much as you can to the point where you're not going to lose your sanity. And you're not going to lose your happiness. And you're not going to become burned out. You may enter a burnout. Definitely can happen. So, I'm down here getting all this cleaned up. Took all of my aggressions out <laughs> with the hedge trimmers. But we're getting stuff done and we're getting ready for winter. So, we have a lot of videos coming your way. Um, you know, this is just a real quick, you know, I didn't put on makeup and sitting at my table and fluffing you with a cup of coffee and answering your questions video. But it is answering your questions. And if you come here, you're just going to get us. I don't know if I'll have a million subscribers one day. I don't know. Maybe. I never thought I'd have almost 100,000. But you guys have been good to us and we appreciate you. And as far as my schedule, here is something that people have asked. They said, well, what's going to be your schedule on, on your videos? Guys, there may be videos like today. I have eight videos. To, if I sat all day long, I'm not kidding. If I sat all day long and put up videos today, I could put up eight. Right now, eight. Actually, this might make nine. This makes nine. And, um, you know, I'll get a video up today. If you don't see one tomorrow, just know Patera's living it, and she's living it authentically. So, hey, girls at hot. Look at this baby. Love you, baby. Say hi, Miss Bile. Okay, guys, we're going to see you on the next video. We're working hard, trimming, cleaning, moving, getting ready for winter. A lot of videos coming up, a lot of special events coming up, a lot of genealogy coming up. School, school, school. And maybe a goat. We'll see you on the next video.